funny. Yeah. And two beautiful kids. She'll fix it. She will. I think she did. She got a she, day. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, she's she officially did. fixed it. And her dad is like taking over control of the important stuff for a while. Okay. Well. Yeah. Anyway, now we're to the point, the three chick styles for second day hair. I want to hear this about your hair. Yeah. Okay. So I've been wanting to talk about this. I've been thinking about writing a little blog about it because I don't for the last three years or more, don't, I haven't spent any money on like beauty products. Like I don't spend face makeup? wash. Um, right. Yes, I do makeup, okay. but no, not like face like, wash. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like face wash, um, shampoo and conditioner, like very minimal. Like I used to go extravagant with like my the shampoo thirty dollar bottle. Oh of yeah, of shampoo. Um, shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I used to, and um, and so I am very minimal now. I don't really get my hair cut. Um, I wash my hair naturally with products when I can, um, like baking soda and vinegar. Yes, I know. And then usually like Garnier for teeth or whatever is perfectly uh-huh. fine for me. How often um, do you shampoo? Only every other day. I would, yeah. Okay. Yeah, every other but day. But you still like every other day? Yeah. I mean, I don't think I do more than three because I can't get away with it. And how often do you do the baking soda vinegar? Um, at least once a week. Um, sometimes if I lose, like run out of shampoo and conditioner, I'll use it for a week or two like that. But then I'm like, I just have to get something My eyes else. are big right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, a friend of mine, um, my friend Heidi told me about that. She's like a health. A Was nut, there so. like a transition period where your head had to adjust? No, it was like miraculous. Like I just feel like you were so shiny uh-huh. and perfect the first time. So you just use um, like baking soda, uh-huh. um, and then you use like vinegar and a squirt bottle is what I did, and kind of just squirted it all over my hair. And that's the the vinegar is actually the conditioner. But oh. anyway, yeah. So I love second day hair because Hold that's on. my best hair. <laughs> I'm focused. I'm baking soda. Okay, so what are the, you you throw the baking soda in your hair with water and you like yeah. lather it and so you lather it was shampoo. It. So you kind of paste it in your hand. I paste okay. it in your hand first and then kind of rub it in your hair. I um, mean that it is the shampoo. Feel exfoliating? No, I, at first I thought it was going to burn. I was like she's crazy. I'm not putting it on my roots right. because she's going to burn and it doesn't. You don't really Huh. I mean, it feels weird in the water when you wash everything okay. out, but when you blow dry it, it's not, it's completely. Normal. And then you rinse that out and then you put the vinegar in? And then you, yeah, I just spray the vinegar all over enough to where you, it, you can start feeling it actually conditioning. And do you rinse that? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you don't walk around smelling like vinegar head? No, but you do actually at the end. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Has your husband adjusted to this process? I don't know. I don't think he knows. I don't oh. think he can tell. So probably, I can probably tell because I know I did it, but it's uh-huh. like the apple cider vinegar that I use. So oh, it's okay. not, um. So you don't have to use yeah. like the white vinegar. No, you don't use, use white vinegar. Oh God, okay. I should have probably no. specified that. I don't know what it'll do. So I don't know if it's It has to be not. apple cider I vinegar. use apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Tara. <laughs> should have started that. Stayed at the beginning. I'm so glad we got care. <laughs> You're like, I was about to go get in the shower. <laughs> use some. Yeah, it's awesome. Apple cider vinegar is amazing. It does everything. It does. Every, stomach aches, everything. That yeah. Stuff is good, it gives so. me, but I bought the apple cider vinegar pills because I hate the taste of it. Oh, yeah. And it gave me like massive headaches. Oh, whoa. Too yeah. much? Well, I don't know. Like it was just hmm. a pill. Interesting. Well, that's crazy. And wow. So do you do like the all natural deodorant thing or do you even... I? Should I ask this? Is I, this no, I do, no, I do. I do. Um, no, I sometimes have all nitro deodorant, but not really. My mom, she like, <laughs> she always buys stuff on sale, so it's uh-huh. like buy one get two free or whatever. Okay. And so she always usually gives me her extra oh, stuff okay. that she got for free. So I'll use whatever. Oh, gotcha. Um, but when I buy it, yeah, usually it's like the natural kind. Um, I shave. Yeah, my armpits definitely. Okay, I that's shave. fine. No, well, um, I had a friend that her husband stopped using deodorant about a year ago, and yeah. it took a while. His body adjusted, and now he doesn't need it. Okay. And I'm like, but really? Yeah. Do you really not need it? Or, <laughs> or do you have you just adjusted to get used <laughs> yeah. to your, You now had the time to adjust to get used to the smell. Well, that's that's awesome. I I bleach the crap out of my hair. As you can tell, I have a hair appointment tomorrow, so you can see my roots <laughs> right now. Um, and so I don't wash my hair, but every three, sometimes four days, I can possibly go. Really? If that fourth day is on a weekend... And up, I can you get away with up, up. Or you put it down. Yes. Yes. I don't see. I don't wear my hair up. I think Ever? I could probably no. I think I could get away with it if it was mm-hmm. up. It's yeah, easier. That's the secret. Yeah. And that's it's much easier. These styles for second day hair, uh, they're up styles. Yeah. A lot. Ex- yeah. Exactly. Two of them. Three. I should start yeah. wearing my hair up more. I could get away with. And it. that that helps. Like I can do two, maybe three days down, 
And then that fourth day, if I want to try and rock it, it wow. has to be up or a hat on. <laughs> but it's just my hairstylist is like, you got to not wash your yeah, hair every day. Yeah, because it's not good for you. It's no, really I'm already bleaching the crap out of it. So, yeah, I have yeah. to take care of it. So th- I found these styles. And I can't believe um, – that's so awesome, baking soda. Yeah. Apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Okay. See, I don't know what that will do for bleached hair either. You know? Yeah, I might not do that. <laughs> don't do that. No. I spend a lot of Because I don't color my hair. I don't – anything. You have nothing. the beautiful, really healthy Thank hair. Thank you. Um, it's shiny. It since, like, shiny. high school, I think that was probably the last time I ever colored it. Wow. And I trim it last sometimes. Time you, oh, okay. I usually – I just grab a pair of scissors and kind of just cut off the dead stuff. Here and there. So does my boyfriend, and it freaks me out. I'm like, stop. Sometimes I go crazy. I'm like, whoa, that's a little much. <laughs> does your husband even, like, blink? Like, No, he's so like me own. now. He cuts his own hair now. He doesn't get haircuts anymore. Oh, like, wow. he used to spend so much money on that. I'm like, why? Buy a buzzer. We'll do it. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm so it. cheap. <laughs> no, that's good. It's, not, it's frugal, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, this article said that most pe- people don't have time to wash and blow dry their hair every day, which is why I advanced, yeah. like, I was like, yes, I don't have to wash my hair every day because it takes me an hour to yeah, straighten Yeah, 45 it. minutes. Yeah. yeah. So dirty, as they call them, hair days don't have to mean bad hair days. So these are a few styles that you can check out. The first one is, of course, the ponytail. If you've got long hair, ponytails are likely one of your go-to hairstyles when you have to get out the door. Use this new take on a ponytail and start by brushing your hair, then spritzing with a heat-protecting styling spray, which not only prevents damage but also gives your hair a glossy sheen. Next, work in a 1- to 2-inch sections, run a flat iron through your hair, then you're finished. Put your hair um, or part your hair with a comb just above the arch of one eyebrow. Form a ponytail at the nape of your neck using an elastic band without a clasp. So it's just, it's really a ponytail. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> glorified <laughs> ponytail yes that's a lot of instruction for a ponytail but there you go you throw it up and boom nobody knows you didn't wash your hair for right. days right hopefully i anyway. bet they think though yeah who washes their hair and throws it into a ponytail yeah Mm-mm. if you're gonna wash and dry your hair you're gonna wear it yeah <laughs> as long as possible right. how about the next one the bun yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, go. You run with that. <laughs> um, the bun. See, I am somebody who I was um, very childish when I was younger, and I stretched my ears really large. And so I have, like, huge plugs. So I don't wear my hair up. Oh! Buns are my favorite look on women. They're classy and beautiful and wonderful, and mm-hmm. I don't can't do it because I have, like, those stretched oh. out earlobes. So that's the story. That's why I don't wear my hair up. Well, there's a story for those that are thinking about those stretched out your legs. <laughs> I see those people. Like, you see the people with, like, three-inch thick Yeah, gauges? I had huge plugs. Like, huge plugs. It was really bad. And now you regret it. Oh, yeah. I wonder. I when I see it. that, I'm like, are they going to regret that when they get older? Some people may not, but Is there I a do. surgery they can do? Hopefully. Sure I think is. they just stitch it up. But who knows what it looks like afterwards. I've always had the fattest earlobes I've ever seen. <laughs> So just like, like why not plug them? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly in seventh grade. That's what I thought, and then I just bloop. But back then, plugs weren't huge. No. Now they're like. No, I was always like a like a punk kid. Like I was like. Oh, a, uh, I didn't even like notice plugs until the last couple of years. Really? Yeah, I probably got rid of them in the last couple of years. You're ahead of the times. Uh, yeah. Everyone's gonna be baking soda, <laughs> apple cider in, in a couple of years, and I'll be like, I I actually knew about that one. <laughs> Wow. So, yeah, bun. It's a great idea. Um, I did it a few, probably about a month ago, because I watched the YouTube Makeup Girls. Do you okay. watch any of those? If you go to YouTube, there's like, I want to say hundreds of girls that sit there and post videos weekly, of multiple them, times a dang. week, of them doing their makeup and yeah. hair and their fashion. And I was watching one, <laughs> and she did a bun, and I'm like, oh, that that sounds good. So I did it, but I don't know that I felt as pretty... Did you do the sock bun, or did you, like, just use your It hair? was like a sock bun, mm-hmm. but I didn't have the sock. Yeah. I don't know. I love the look. I think it's wonderful. It, it's, very it's very classy. classy. Yeah. 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 And simple, and you would never think of dirty hair because it's supposed to be tight. Right. And, you know, so you would never think. So if you're getting ready to have some, like, a classy event the day before, wash and dry it, wear it down, and then you don't even have to... Roll it up in a bun? Yeah. And then the last one is make it a beach day. Huh. One of the more popular hairstyles for dirty hair is loose waves giving long locks that va-va-voom volume. 
that that's a regular look on the red carpet. So bring um, being detangling with a comb and following with a protective heat styling spray. Starting with the bottom of your scalp and working up, hold a hot curling iron vertically. Working in two-inch sections, wrap hair around the outside of the iron and release after 10 seconds. Don't touch those ringlets until they're completely cool. Yes. And I would say that I think my hair curls better on dirty. Yeah. it's It holds so much better well, dirty. I remember back when I went to prom, they told me not to wash my hair the, the day, day before. Of. Yeah, I think when you do those updos, they say that. Yeah, because it... it Stays up better, mm-hmm. and it it does curl better. Yeah. So, well, there you go. I wouldn't. I wouldn't wash your hair every. Do you take a shower though? You just don't. Wash I sh- the hair. yes. <laughs> People are like, is let's clarify <laughs> that before we say goodbye. Like I bought like uh one of those like eight shower dollar caps. shower yeah, caps. I love not the caps. not the Dollar Tree one. I tried that yeah. one. It did yeah. not work as well. No, I spent eight dollars on a shower cap, and yeah. Before I met my husband, I would use like a, a grocery bag, a oh. plastic, and just wrap it away. And then I met my husband, I'm like, I can't really get away with that anymore. He's going to be like, what is What is wrong with you? You got a King Supers bag wrapped on your head. Yeah, so I own I own a couple of those because um, I do go to the gym. And so exactly, people yeah. notice that I'm working out and then they think, oh, she doesn't shower but every four days? Ooh, I yes. could lose some friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the holidays are coming up. Yes. Is there going to be some holiday excitement at La Lovely Vintage? Yes, that's most of my holiday excitement will probably be through La Lovely Vintage. <laughs> Don't know if I'll much time for other holiday excitement. And but yes, lots of mobile pop-ups um, with a lot of the other mobile shops in town. There's so, a lot of mobile yes, shops. there is. Um, so if you follow um, Denver Mobile Style Society on Facebook. Oh, there's a whole um, society. Exactly. That's our little society of us. And we're going to be doing, hopefully, we're going to do weekly or bi-weekly um, pop-ups so mm-hmm. people can do their holiday shopping with all of us. So are those just random? Area. They're very random, yeah. So you can um, find it on our Facebook or mm-hmm. on lawlovelyvintage.com. We La have lovely of, vintage. I just yeah. like saying that. So, um, yeah, so it, that's most of, yeah, the holidays will probably be work-related. Right. Yeah, isn't, it, that, isn't it mostly, though? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I look forward to January. Once, yeah. once Halloween <laughs> is over, I'm like, oh, here we go. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> it's just nonstop. Yeah, it is. It is. Especially looking, retail. Uh, yeah. Both. <laughs> I worked at the icing in college, and that was just the worst retail season of my life yeah having to be there at 4 a.m the day after thanksgiving ouch it was insane yeah. and now they're even earlier like midnight some places are opening so yeah some yeah some, some people, people are like we're just gonna close. do thanksgiving we're just yeah. gonna stay open on thanksgiving it's insane yeah it's not fair all right well we'll have you back i would and love we'll to back. get to talk about i'm sure there's gonna be more Something new else. stuff because <laughs> you are amazingly hard worker and thank, thank you, you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule thank you for having me all right everyone you guys have a great week cheers and find us on facebook twitter stitcher itunes um spreaker podbean iHeartRadio, tumblr and blogspot we will be all of those places with all of our links and <laughs> let us know what you think all right bye bye